Yes, I, I think this is not a consequence of free markets. What's happening is there's transfer of wealth from the poor and the middle class to the wealthy. This comes about because of a monetary system that we have. When you inflate a currency or, or destroy a currency, the middle class gets wiped out. So the people who get to use the money first, which is created by the Federal Reserve System, benefit. So the money gravitates to the banks and to Wall Street. So that's why you have more billionaires than ever before. Today, this country is in the, in, in the middle of a recession for a lot of people. Michigan knows about it. Poor people know about it. The middle class knows about it. Wall Street doesn't know about it. Washington, D.C. doesn't know about it. But it's because of the monetary system and the excessive spending. As long as we live beyond our means, we are destined to live beneath our means. And we have lived beyond our means because we are financing a foreign policy that is so extravagant and beyond what we can control, as well as the spending here at home. And we're depending on the creation of money out of thin air, which is nothing more than debasement of the currency. It's counterfeit. And it is a natural, predictable consequence that you're going to have people benefit from it and other people suffer. So if you want a healthy economy, you have to study monetary theory and figure out why it is that we're suffering. And everybody doesn't suffer equally or this wouldn't be so bad. It's always the poor people, those on retired incomes, that suffer the most. But the politicians and those who get to use the money first, like the military industrial complex, they make a lot of money and Thank they you. benefit from it. Thank you, Congressman.